Replacements, England have two 21-year-olds set to win a first cap. Saracens prop, Maku Vunapola and London was forward Joe Launchbury. Stuart Lancaster says it doesn't get much better than this over the next four weeks. It doesn't get much tougher either. Fiji quick on the kickoff. It has gone forward, but that was a chase from a side who really want to get into the match. Comes off, so it's a big moment for a big man, Mars. Indeed it is, it's the first cap for the Saracens 21-year-old 19 star Maku Vunipola. Born in Wellington, New Zealand, came to live in Wales when his father played in Wales in the 90s, came over at Tongan International. And Maku Vunipola, his brother, of course, plays with London Wasps. I think we'll be seeing him in England colours I, I love not before long. And, Vunapola straight into an attacking scrum. What do you love? I love the fact that son of a man who played for Pontypool is going to be in the English front row as a youngster. I just think back to Graham Price and Bobby Windsor and Charlie Faulkner. And now there's this guy whose dad played for Pontypool, English loose head prop. A new Pontypool, they damaged England many years in the 70s and now they've finally given the men across the Seven Bridge something back. God bless you, Charlie. And what can Vunapola do here? Touch! Six! delighted that Dan Cole didn't actually get the ball down to give him this wonderful introduction into international rugby. But that is Fiji causing mayhem as well. And they've managed to scramble out of that situation as Matavesi clears. There is Vunapola, very effective in the loose as well. Aldrin to Parling. Penalty try and Monia. Looking to add to that total now. And there is Vunapola. And Care. And Flood. Trying to draw the man, so too good. Here's Robshaw, should be, is Tom Johnson. First drive ahead now in England colours. Good enough. It's not about your age, it's about the trust in ability, and that's a good selection. Would have gone on tour had it not been for that injury just before South Africa. It's part of a dominant England scrum, but somehow once more Fiji get it back. Saw there on the captain, Ilyasa. He says, don't get players to think they waste time doing that. It's instinct. England have really got to train these guys, as we saw with that good Barrett one-two. Waldron. That's good from Thomas Walter, the number eight. And then when he had a chance to set up, Tom Wood just lost control of the ball. Bits and pieces, that lovely little pick up from the care pass, a little swerve, some good carries and tackles. A satisfactory debut for Tom Youngs. Seeing him return to fitness and therefore form. Well, that's a good charge from Vunipola. Youngs. And Farrell to good, and then Barrett. Fiji you want to make another change. Sikanaya Kalo is about to come on. He's... But it was enjoyable to the neutral. But it's going to be a while for Fiji to get that ball back. Up near a 60, and it could finish there yet. Yeah. England will look to put more points on, but in the end, the collective power has been too much. One against the head. And England have a chance there, four, great chance. Got to move it quickly. Baron Tuilangi again, out the back to Barrett. Youngs, oh, good line there from Tom Wood. Good to see him back and fit again. And back in Northampton no. colours this season. England driving. It's this one where he comes over the top, Mike Brown, hand goes in. No. Mm. Another score. Cross comes Brown. 
It's Tirulangi with the tackle, and it's England with the win. In the no-win game. A situation that is always difficult for a side, Stuart Lancaster, though, has seen his team go above 50 points, get a good run out, oil the machine, and get ready for the test to come.